Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Nation Today Update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Reported romance between Jen Tran and her DWTS partner? Viewers of the program have been making assumptions about Jen Tran and her partner, Sasha Faber, since the start of the current season. Many have questioned if the two are romantically engaged due to their obvious connection on the dance floor and their flirtatious exchanges on social media. See what she has to say about the rumors by continuing to read. Praise for Sasha Farber Jen Tran amid the DWTS incident. For their first dance, Jen Tran and Sasha Farber scored 19 out of 30. This week, they made a comeback on the dance floor on Oscar night. The two danced to the song A Little Party Never Killed Nobody, All We Got, by Fergie, Q-Tip, and Goon Rock, which is featured in the Leo DiCaprio starring The Great Gatsby revival. However, their routine didn't start well right away. She persevered and did a fantastic job getting over the setback when the music was delayed at the start of the dance. Regarding how the reality star maintained her composure, despite the technological issues, Sasha Farber raved to E. News. There was no music when the dance began, it ended. However, Jen Tran continued to perform the entire dance and stay on schedule. She was unfazed by it, unlike other people. He continued by saying that if other famous competitors or even pros were in the same shoes, the sound problem might force them to end the show. But, Jen Tran did not. She ran down the stairs, stayed in time without music, and we picked up at exactly the right timing, he continued. Despite being aware of the incident, the judges did not award Jen any bonus points for her composure. For their second dance, the DWTS couple scored a 19 out of 30 once more. They were safe from elimination for at least one more week, even with the scoring. On season 21 of The Bachelorette, Devin Strader broke Jen Tran's heart in front of millions of Bachelor Nation viewers. Sex allegations about Jen Tran have been sparked by fans' desire to see her happy. People took notice of her flirtatious TikToks featuring former finalist Jonathan Johnson. The obvious attraction between Jen and Sasha has raised the same eyebrows. Jen and Sasha were questioned by E. News regarding the reports of their alleged affair. Playing coy, the two dismissed the rumors with a giggle. The DWTS partners argued that their only enjoyment was together. Do you believe that Jen Tran and Sasha Farber are becoming closer, or are they just faking it to get more votes? Post your thoughts in the comments section. Jen Tran responds expertly to mistaken music during Dancing with the Stars performance. On season 21 of The Bachelorette, Jen Tran was shown to Bachelor Nation viewers searching for love. However, as revealed in the season finale, Jen's hopes for the season were not fulfilled. At the conclusion of filming, Jen and Devin became engaged, but he broke it off soon after, leaving her devastated. The former Bachelorette has been winning on Dancing with the Stars with her dance partner Sasha Farber ever since she left the show. And just this past week, she handled a musical blunder like a pro while putting on an amazing performance. The Great Gatsby inspired Jen and Sasha's dance to start the evening. While everything went smoothly in the practice, their music's opening notes didn't sound during the live performance. A minute or two later, the music finally began to play, but all Jen could hear was the click track. Nevertheless, Jen carried on with the concert, started the dance on time, and performed flawlessly, with no symptoms of fear or panic despite this unforeseen technical issue. The Bachelor Nation star did, however, acknowledge her nervousness online. Jen posted a video compilation of their dance along with the caption, I was really freaking out when I couldn't hear the music in the ballroom at first. However, much like everything else in life, I persevered, kept my cool, and remained strong under duress. She continued, It's been incredibly difficult for me to finish a dance during rehearsals when anything goes wrong, because mentally I'm thinking about how much better I could be performing or my concentration gets distracted because something went wrong. With these dances, every little detail is so crucial to me. Everything is routine. Jen went on to describe how she overcame the music error and how she feels now that she hasn't cracked under pressure. 
Over the past couple of weeks, I've learned to keep dancing no matter what and roll with the punches, the writer added. That way of thinking was truly tested this past week. I'm quite proud of myself for being able to execute to the best of my abilities in that particular moment without dwelling on the beginning, which is not something I say frequently, and for being able to accomplish so on live TV. The ex-bachelorette also revealed that she intends to return to PA school shortly, as she had previously stated she wanted to do following her stint on The Bachelorette. She disclosed, and may I just say, although emergency care is not the same as dancing on live television, I've always been drawn to working under pressure, which is why I thoroughly enjoyed my ER rotation during my PA school years. This further validates my ability to handle pressure, and I can't wait to return in January. Sasha, Jen's dancing partner, also talked about their performance and that he was proud of Jen. I consider myself the luckiest man alive to have found someone as wonderful as Jen. She demonstrated to me last night why she is a genuine leader. This girl had never danced before, and she performed a difficult tango with such grace, power, and a solid build, the writer wrote. But the main thing I want to touch on is that she saved the entire dance, he said. She heard the click track and stayed in time without any music until the music started back up. In my opinion, that's a 10, and I'm really proud of her. You can swipe to view the live video of what we actually heard. We are totally in agreement. And to top it all off, she and Joey are still competing after making it through the first round of eliminations. We adore watching Jen and Joey flourish, both on and off the stage, we are incredibly proud of them. This DWTS season, Bachelor Nation is thrilled to be rooting for them both. We're eager to watch what other routines they pull off. Ivan Hall, the star of The Bachelorette, has a brother who is accused of killing someone. According to court records that TMZ was able to get, Gabriel Hall was taken into custody in October for the murder of Carlos Valiz Jr. in Abilene, Texas. Hall and Veliz got into a verbal fight at around 1.30 a.m. on August 31, according to the police. It is said that after the argument, Hall shot Veliz in the head, killing him. Police claimed they were able to link Hall to the crime through the use of local security footage that connected a car he was renting to the location. A spent cartridge case and indications of gunshot residue on Hall's hands and clothing are also reported to have been discovered in the automobile. Hall has been charged with counts including murder, possession of a firearm by a felon, and possession of methamphetamines. He is currently being held on a $400,000 bond. Bachelor Nation standout Ivan Hall, who featured on Tasia Adams' season of The Bachelorette, showed his relationship to his brother on TV. The reality star finished third as a contestant, with the siblings' bond being a plot point on the show. During one episode, Gabriel surprised both Tasia and Ivan when he joined them for a date in their hometown. Ivan had previously shared with Tasia that he helps raise his brother's six-year-old child.